But coming up now, I've got an action rundown for you. There was an event to make medication affordable, a campaign launched by Senator Warren, Elizabeth Warren, who we haven't talked about in quite some time, and A.D. Barkin, activists uh, who we have talked about recently. That's coming up next in our Action Rundown. Down. I am Juliana Forlano. Check it out. The Make Meds Affordable campaign launched this past weekend. Here's a fact. Joe Biden and the Secretary of Health and Human Services, Xavier Barquera, they have the power right this second without Congress to do something about big pharma's greed. So the activists, both in the elected office and out on the street are pushing Biden to execute or do an executive action to bust pharma monopolies and lower drug prices. Stroke of a pen, baby. That's all it takes. And lives are on the line. That's why folks are out in the streets campaigning to make medication. It's it's called make meds affordable. That's the hashtag make medication affordable. Um, I got some video of that action and this thing is ongoing. So I uh, will put a pin in it. We'll keep our eyes on it. Senate, this is Senator Warren of Massachusetts talking about the launch of the campaign and just outright asking President Biden and Secretary Barkera to use their authority to take action to lower drug prices without Congress. Did you know that they could do that? I did not. And I don't think anyone else did either. But thanks to these folks, uh, now we do. Let's take a listen to Warren. I'm so glad that the Make Meds Affordable campaign is launching today to put these issues front and center in America. I'm excited to join their calls to President Biden and Secretary Becerra to use their existing authorities, things that Congress has already authorized them to do, to use those authorities to lower drug prices and to crack down on the monopoly power of giant pharmaceutical companies. Americans have been waiting long enough for government to take action to lower drug prices. Enough is enough. It is time to act right now. Uh, I love how Senator Warren, she used to be a school teacher and you can totally hear it in her voice. She's like, that everyone knows <laughs> that they could do right now. I love that. She goes on, of course, to give statistics, which are very startling, actually, about American health care. Take a listen. Average American spends more than $1,300 a year on prescription drugs, more than the citizens of any other developed nation in the world. And in fact, Americans pay nearly four times more on average for drugs than similar countries. One in four Americans struggles to afford their prescriptions and three out of 10 adults did not take medications as prescribed last year due to the cost. That is shameful. No one should have to choose between affording a life-saving medication and putting food on the table or a roof over their head. Yes, I am with her on that. All right. Uh, also at the event, Aaron Jackson Hill, executive director of Stand Up Alaska, was speaking about the astronomical cost of inhalers and her own experience trying to use this medication. Here she is. Inhalers are ridiculously expensive. And honestly, I know from personal experience, they can mean the difference between life and death. For the times when I couldn't get my inhaler, I would try to make my old one last, using it until there was not a molecule of medicine coming out to open up my airways. If I got really desperate, I would borrow someone else's um, if they were available. This is not a way to live. You should not have to choose between your mental health and not being able to breathe. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Also, we have 80 barking 
founder and co-founder, excuse me, co-executive director of Be a Hero, explaining that President Biden and Secretary Becerra have the legal authority to lower these drug prices without waiting on Congress. I think that's the take home from this launch that he could do it right now without waiting on Congress. So either do it or give us an explanation as to why. Otherwise, we're just going to assume it's because you're a corporate pharma sellout and you wouldn't want that, President Biden. The urgency to act, by the way, after two years of a pandemic is like looming largely over our heads as we head right into the midterms and Democrats are trying to hold the majority question, why would voters vote blue if their lives are literally not materially improving? What are Democrats doing to ensure these votes? This is the morally right thing to do. It's politically wise for the president and for Becerra to take action now to lower these drug prices, especially when we ha he hasn't been very successful in getting them lowered any other way. Here's A.D. Barkin. President Biden and Secretary Becerra already have the existing legal authority to lower drug prices. They don't need to wait on Congress. Build Back Better sought to address prescription drug prices, but with the fate of the legislation up in the air, it is even more critical that Biden act now to make drugs competitively priced and affordable. Not only would this be the morally correct action to take, but also the politically wise one. Heading into the midterms this year, we will all have endured more than two years of a pandemic that has caused lasting damage to every aspect of society. Democrats barely squeaked out a victory in the last presidential election, and now we're headed for a big fight to hang on to our thin congressional majorities. And in the calculation about who would best represent them, voters will question whether or not their lives improved under Democratic rule. We cannot take civic participation for granted. We must give people a reason to head to the polls. Absolutely. Well, this is a good reason to head to the fullest, to have your uh, medication be affordable. There's no reason pharmaceutical companies should be taking home these enormous profits. There's There should be salary. How about a salary cap? Just put a salary cap on there, on that executive bonuses and privileges. I'm not, I'm for that. I think that's a good idea. Or how about if the companies pay their fair share of taxes? I'm sure that's not happening. That, that, uh, on the up and up. Anyway, I agree. Let's just uh, make the meds affordable in whatever way we can. This is again a campaign launch, so you can follow it. It's going to keep on rolling and keep on going. The hashtag on the internet's make meds affordable. That's it for today's action rundown. You are watching Act TV. <laughs>
we're out.